Okay. You're a battalion chief as far as your truck indicates, right? Yep. Okay. You're, you're parked in front of a fire hydrant, so I thought that was a little bit ironic that a fire chief, I mean, I know you're in the car, but still. And you appear to be here, I mean, as a taxpayer, I got a right to ask you, this is a Coles. Are you here on official business or are you, are you use your vehicle for uh, for family, uh, you know, for personal use? Uh, both. Both? Yep. And, and the town allows you, the Henrietta town allows, okay, with, with no rules or conditions? Nope. Uh, but, it's a, but it's a Henrietta town vehicle, correct? Yeah. And you're sitting in front of Coles. Can I ask waiting on is it because, because what I did is I, I But not in a, not an official business. I dropped my wife off to okay. go to Coles and then I went to a fire call right. and then I came back down waiting for my wife to come out. But again, my issue is more I don't know if taxpayers are aware, they are now, but that the Henrietta town, this is an official vehicle paid for by tax dollars. And obviously you're allowed to use it for family for personal reasons. Well, I'm on call 24/7. So right. All right. Thanks a lot, man. Happy holidays, bro. Yep. yep. How you doing, my friend? Good, sir. Just recording this for, uh, you know, just full disclosure. What's your name? Uh, Deputy Strong. Okay. Are you familiar with me? No, I'm not. Okay. Are you familiar with Davey V? Do you follow any of my work? Or? Oh, I know Davey. I've heard yeah. the name, yeah. I'm not trying to put you on the spot. I mean, it's not going to get you. You could uh, breathe a sigh of relief. <laughs> There's a Henrietta Battalion Chief, right here. I have it on video. Okay. Not only, which this is above your pay grade, but not only using an official vehicle for personal use, waiting on somebody to come out of coals, but he's blocking a fire hydrant, which I found that to be a little bit, you know, ironic. What, what is your feelings on that? He's a fireman and he can do what he wants, I guess. So if there's an issue, he's gonna know about it. Would you let him know though? I mean, now that you know, would you let him know? Yeah, I can stop by and tell him. He's right out here, outside the double door. Okay, I'll let I him know. I guess my question was more in general. Just as I'm, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, always exposing you guys when you guys go a little bit above and beyond the law. Well, how does that make you feel? I mean, it's, uh, I mean, not only is he using a personal vehicle, he's waiting on someone inside Coles who's shopping, obviously, you know. Yeah, but he's allowed to use that vehicle, so it's, you know, I for, guess. For, for personal reasons? I would assume. I would assume so. Right. I guess you'd have to take that up with the fire and, and in all fairness, I know ultimately it's not even a question for you. I, mean, I don't not, know. Yeah, I don't it's know. Not, yeah, it's not your, uh, it's nothing that has to do with you. But yeah. I'll go tell him. I, I think it's a little bit ironic, though, that he's sitting right in front of a fire hydrant. I'll go tell him. All right, thank you.